Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Sean, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Just you're the man on those things. Oh, it's so sticky over here. And we're playing that Madden, girls. <laughs> <laughs> it's always girls, too. What's wrong with the girls, Jonas? Well, I guess we got a shout out if any watch. There were some girls that I saw that subscribed, so I'm making sure that they know that they are appreciated. Yeah. They're just as much our homies as everybody else. Yeah. No cra crazy townsfolk is less important than the other. Emphasis on the homies. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, you know what I'm talking about, home. <laughs> You know, I was going to take it to just like a derogative place, and I decided <laughs> against this. <laughs> so I decided not to. Okay. I like I don't when you. offend, but I, I you know, like. Oh, yeah. Kinda... How are you going to shout out then offend? It's like it's like a backing in a compliment. <laughs> no, because, like, I don't know. I, I tend to try to offend people who I like. Oh, like you know right. what you're it's supposed a love to do. Thing. It's not the it's not a hate thing. So that's like when you're out here making Canadian racial slurs. You love Canada. That's why you do it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now you understand. Right. <laughs> Canadian racial slurs. <laughs> it's always calling back to it. <laughs> oh man. No, I don't know. Like uh, you know, oh, like God. you know, like when you like a girl in high school. Or in like junior high, and you, just got gotta, safety. Oh. and you just gotta like give her some crap. Gotta like oh, make fun of like, her a little uh, bit. It's like where you treat like the girl like she's like your little sister. You like pick yeah. on her and like give her a hard time, but it's all it's all out of love. It's all but like you like her. Yeah, you like pull her hair or like snap her bra strap or something. I wouldn't suggest doing this stuff nowadays, but. <laughs> It's funny how that used to be how like kids in the fifties showed each other they cared about each other. Now, it, like now, like they, if that happened in school, like the kid would be like suspended. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely harassment, bullying. Yeah. bullying. Oh yeah, for sure. Like and it was just like calm. Everyone was like, "Oh, it's okay, Tommy." Yeah. Like, you know, it's like, no, dude. Yo, it is harassment. That's how I lost my virginity right there, Jonas. I don't even know. Somebody huh? snapping your bra strap? No, geez, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to do that, all right? <laughs> but <laughs> those were the tactics that I employed, Jonas, that led to me losing my virginity. Oh, because then she was like, ooh, he's a, he's a nice man. Yeah, and then I had, at the time, the jeans had pockets in them, but... <laughs> Pair of pants. I don't know, have you ever told the story that you have these pants? All right, let's just show you a crotch of those, of those <laughs> no, jeans. I'm good. No, because it's funny. The crotch is... Oh, all like right. not when you're wearing them. <laughs> all right, yeah, well, not when I'm wearing them. <laughs> you always right, show so, me the pockets while you're wearing I, them. I mean, I can go over real quick. Okay, so I have a <laughs> pair of jeans that I've had since high school. Which right. five years ago. Yeah, which is like maybe five, ten years ago. Either way, these jeans are years and years and years and years old. Um, they've gotten so old that both of the pockets have disintegrated. The, like the, the front like pockets. the bottom of a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> <It's just tattered. laughs> it does. It does. <laughs> and the back pockets are still functional. Uh, the What do you call it? Like the uh, Not the buckle, not the belt loop. The, the thing in the front that the you the fastener, yeah, I guess is class, it, but I don't know what they. Yeah, do. it's gone. <laughs> what do you keep them together? You just pull the zipper up. You know how like you pull a zipper up and you put it down, it locks, right? Uh, right, right. And then you put a belt on, boom, they're. Oh, functional. so you don't have a? Oh my god! No, so they're, they're barely jeans anymore. I mean, <laughs> all the features are almost out. Of you don't have any jeans that don't have the <laughs> the class on them. I usually fix it. Oh. <laughs> you sew a button on them, Ish. Do like half my jeans don't. Go <laughs> <laughs> to my trash! <laughs> I'm starting to feel like I'm trash. Anyway, this isn't about my wardrobe. This is about one article out of the wardrobe, Jonas. All right, so needless to say, these jeans, I think they're Echo jeans, Jonas, back when Echo was like big banging boom bucks. Prominent brand. Yeah, yeah, which I don't know if that was ever. But regardless. On the crotch of these jeans, there was like a little, like, uh, where like the zipper is. Yeah. There's a little flap, and there's like a series of pictures. Okay. And the series of pictures has like a boy, and then underneath it, it has a girl, and then it has the boy letting the girl in, and then it has the picture of a dog wagging his tail. Okay. 
And as a kid, I saw this, or I wouldn't even say as a kid, but as a teenager, I should say, because I didn't lose my virginity (laughs) as a kid. Jesus. (laughs) Gotta watch your nomenclature. Yeah, that's a whole other story. (laughs) Anyway, as (laughs) as a teenager, I saw that, and I was like, oh, I get it. It's sex. <laughs> I get it. It's, so those are your sex pants? Yeah, it's a boy, then a girl, then a boy letting a girl into a room, and then a dog wagging its tail. I get it. And it's on that part of the pants, the uh-huh. zipper part. Right, so that was like your new, like, did you only date women with dogs so that could happen to you? No, Jonas. The dog wagging its tail means that they're both, you know. Shagging? Yeah, they're happy, dude. They're getting they're getting happy jeans in. <laughs> And it just so happens that these are the jeans that I lost my virginity in with my first girlfriend, I guess. <laughs> Good for you, man. So I've kept the jeans all these years. I don't wear them as often as I used to, mainly because the pockets are out and I always forget. Yeah, yeah. I've watched you drop like your phone to the floor like <laughs> 10 times. And just, why would you not do that? Every other pair of pants has pockets. Exactly. You go to put it in there and it, your keys just go right to your foot. And I'm just like, oh, you're mad. <laughs> right. Because, you know, you definitely could have just not worn the pocketless pants. <laughs> Look, Jonas. <laughs> They're in really good shape. You know, jeans are like some of the most durable material. Oh, absolutely. It's just it's just too bad, like um oh my god, dude, this team is garbage. Uh yeah, it's like uh I've just I got distracted because I'm doing uh-huh. bad. Uh say that one more time. I got so okay. distracted. <laughs> I, I am jeans. playing a game, goddammit. <laughs> jeans. It's some of the most valuable, or valuable. It's <laughs> yes. so, now you freaking me. Oh, up, I remember dude. now. Durable material. Most durable yes. material ever created. Yes, there are still like jean jackets from the '80s that look like they're brand new. <laughs> People that just don't deteriorate. At I'm all. telling you, man. They could just make like bulletproof vest out of jeans. If they made like uh, what else? <laughs> bulletproof Kev- Kevlar jean vest. Yeah, I mean stylish and protective. Yeah. Yeah. They could just make like Again, uh, to our Canadian friends to the north, it's, that's the Canadian tuxedo. Wait, what? That's what they say, right? No, I don't. What do you mean? I don't know what they say. I'm not a Canadian racist. <laughs> yeah, you are. I am You're not. the biggest one. I am not a Canadian bigot. <laughs> Canadian yeah, bigot. I will not become that person. You are. I know more about Canadian culture than you. Well, right. I know you how. to study up your facts so you can then call them out on it. <laughs> <laughs> so I can call them out on it. I know. I'm being... like I'm studying Canadian culture just so I can be like, yeah, see, they're always eating Tim Hortons. <laughs> you never even been to a Tim Hortons. I have, too. They have them in the Minnesota Mall. Oh. Uh, America has a Tim Hortons. Well. I brought my mom home donut holes because she wanted some donuts. A fun fact, Joan, this Canadians hate Tim Hortons. Yeah, I bet. They do. Because it's like they're, it's like, uh. It's become like our Dunkin' Donuts. Ugh, nah. I mean, you know what? See, and like, I wouldn't go to Dunkin' Donuts for like anything. But I wouldn't say I hate Dunkin' Donuts. I mean, like, if somebody brought me Dunkin' Donuts coffee, I'd be like, yeah, that's cool. Right. I get. I, yeah, I feel. I just. I yeah. I can't even tell you the last time I was in a Dunkin' Donuts. Holy crap! It's been a long time. Is it bad that I feel like I'm? I'm I've surpassed donuts. Like no, because I'm, I have too. But mainly because they give me effing heartburn every time I eat them. Well, see, uh, you got like medical issues. I'm just no, like, if I, that really bad? I'm I mean, it kind of the is. only food that does that. I mean, well, that would be more of a reason for you not to eat them. I, <laughs> I have no reason not to like a donut, but I just feel like uh, if I never had another donut again, I'd be perfectly fine. Yeah, I don't tend to eat foods that have that much sugar in them anymore either. That's the other thing. Like, even like cake and stuff like no no I, come on <laughs> come on you i know you'll if, smash a cake if somebody if a certain somebody makes me a peanut butter cake you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm off all the wagons yeah well i ain't gonna lie dude i, I i'll oh. i'll smash that pe- that's i'm not even into peanut butter li- oh my god interceptions uh i'm not even in i'm not even into peanut butter like you that uh. is that is so good <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> that does something to me, man. I'm man, if you could you. find like a uh, like a potential mate that could make a cake like that for you, <laughs> you'd be why, like, "Why I gotta find somebody to do ish for me, John? I can do it myself. I don't need no. Go, I don't need that, no man. Make that peanut butter cake. I don't need. No I want to watch you make it today. I'll buy the stuff. I'm not make. I gotta go to work. Oh, I see. And I'm not making that stuff because it's unhealthy. 
<laughs> right. It's one of those things that if it is here, yeah, it's done. But I'm not going to make my own kryptonite and then put it in front of me. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> there we this go. It's crazy talk. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's, that's kind of how I feel, too. Like, I don't do... Like... Yeah, but even before donuts made me have heartburn when I eat them, I didn't. Yeah, I, I didn't really buy them very much anymore either. Like, why do you think that is that we like navigate away from donuts? Uh, I think it is. It does have something to do with people being more health conscious nowadays than ever, which is thirty years past due. But glad it's happening. More than that, dude. <laughs> more than that. Oh yeah, yeah. More like fifty years past you, due. Yeah. yeah. If you think about it, man, like we we are probably the most healthiest we live the longest that we ever have because it started out i'm well i ain't gonna say it started out but there was a time where people thought smoking was okay right oh yeah absolutely there was a time where people didn't know the difference between a carb a calorie and a, a, a fat you know yeah and, it well it's funny that uh it's like we're we're we live the longest and now we're starting to try to eat the healthiest. But for years, we just put the worst crap in our bodies. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. yeah. We're still living yeah. longer. Just drinking, alcoholism, and nicotine addiction and just, just ran like the rampant. Food that people were eating because you didn't know better. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I was, I was Especially about the other in the day. South. Dude, yeah, I know. At least, we, at least we lived in the North uh, for as far as food, that kind of food stuff went. But I was somebody posted some picture somewhere on social media, and it was like one of those, like, Look at all the 90s references in this picture. You know, it was like a room with a bunch of crap in it. Yeah. And one of them was Dunkaroos. Do you remember Dunkaroo? Uh, Wasn't this like graham crackers in the shapes of little kangaroos with icing that you would just... <laughs> Yes. And that was a snack just like for cake. children. It was, like, it was like those little cheese and crackers, but it was little graham oh, crackers. Oh, handy snacks. And, yeah. And uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was like handy snacks. But it was, yeah, graham crackers and chocolate icing. And I'm like, yeah, was that, that, was, that, was, that was the fucking, the fudge in, I see him passing. <laughs> all the time. It's that all right, was man. the fudge in, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the snacks we were giving the kids out in the streets these days. Passion profanity. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, speaking of passion profanity, <laughs> what the F is a handy snack? It was like the lowest grade bear, like, oh, just bread. Oh, I ate bread. the F out of those, It dude. was the lowest grade, like. Like D tier bread crackers, <laughs> and then like freaking D minus tier like processed <laughs> yellow cheese substitute. Those crackers were so barely crackers. If you blew into them, you break them in half. Exactly, and the cheese, <laughs> the cheese was more like plastic wrap than it was anything else. It was like cellophane. I ate the F out of it, dude. Those are my favorite. Yuck. You know why? You know why I liked them so much? Because I would stew, uh, chew on that plastic stick for the rest of The plastic <laughs> stick was the best part. I know. It was the most edible. <laughs> I did. I chewed. I was just like all me and all my friends. We would just chew on those plastic sticks. Oh my god! I can't. Re I can't believe that man. It used to be like you know part of a balanced lunch. I'm like no, dude. <laughs> right, like Dunkaroos. You're like really having cake icing for a snack after lunch is the yeah. best possible. Yeah. None thing. of this is balanced. None of this. <laughs> yeah, like and they wonder why like none of this people like our age and older have like a problem with like weight. You're yeah. just garbage. Yeah, man. America's been tossing a lot of gross stuff in their faces for a long time, man. Uh, breakfast cereals are absolutely horrible. Yeah. It's basically just dessert for breakfast. Have a donut. <laughs> have a Pop-Tart. Right. Which is not. It's like 200 calories for no food. Like, so people yeah. are like, let's start out with a 400 calorie sugar breakfast. See, I don't know. <laughs> or no, 400 calories for one Pop-Tart. Sorry. Yeah, basically. So it's 800 for two. And, see, here, oh, go. and I don't know if it's just like my choice of what I watch anymore nowadays, but I feel like uh, pop tops, part pop tart commercials have like kind of like fell off a little bit. Uh, I can't tell you the last time I saw one, but my guess is yes, it probably has. I don't know if maybe they just run pop tart commercials on like children's programming, which is a possibility. <laughs> I think they had to stop that. I think they passed legislation that you couldn't uh. Uh, can't couldn't do sugary food candy type commercials during hey, man. see and that's that's part of the uh the, the new change. yeah the change oh yeah dude, there used to be everything bad during the, the cartoons it was like that was how they marketed because you want your kid to be all upset about it and the parent has to do it uh 
you know, and, and I was thinking of this the other day. It's 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 on the same subject of uh like the uh advertisement. Yeah, I said it. It's on the same subject as that, but with when you're dealing with a product that people know isn't good for them or has the perception of like what do you mean? Okay, I was thinking of like okay, so there's this the coronavirus. Okay, right. And you've heard that the corona alcohol or the uh, the oh people like try to like use Tito's and like we're getting ill. I wouldn't say that. I just say that their stock fell because people kind of oh, associate. Oh, I thought you meant. About, I thought you meant. Okay, no, I was thinking. Okay, yes, the Corona beer had issues. Yeah, with I was like, if I was like, if you're the Corona heads, like you're gonna have to have an emergency meeting, and you're gonna be like, what do we do? What do you do if you just end up? This is like an act of God to them. Like right, all oh, of yeah. a sudden, a pandemic level virus. It takes the same been. name as your product. What do you do? Yeah. What do you do? Yeah, exactly. I was like, okay. I was like thinking to myself. I was like, well, I guess you would stop advertisement because during this time, the last thing you need to do is have advertisement for your product. Right. When everybody is already associating the word Corona with this yeah. pandemic level um, virus. It's like you can go one of two ways with it. You know what I mean? Because like, you're right. Because like it's just like anything else. Like, um, like for another prime example, something like like that. Like the Nazi symbol was not a bad symbol before they took it over. So now everyone's synonymous with that as like the Nazis, which were terrible. So it's like, so it's like Corona, the like same you know same sort of thing on a different level. It's like so you can either like. Abandon the name, change, it, do you know? Try oh, to rebrand. Yeah, and that's or, the thing. Are they gonna do that? Or you could just embrace it, dude. Put a skull on your bottle. No, like, they're not gonna embrace it. They're not gonna Cause, embrace cause the, okay, because coronavirus is gonna blow no. over eventually. You know yeah. what I mean? So, but they're gonna have to eat the. Co- they're gonna have to eat the loss. Is, is so they should just change their beer to like something else for while this uh, is going on, and no one will be, everyone be like, "What's this new no. non-crown beer?" I don't, I don't know, know if they can do that, no, man. Corona's been around for so long. It's that brand loyalty. Oh, I, no. me myself, if I'm getting a beer, I'm getting a Corona. I'm getting a Dos Equis. Those are, the, or I'm getting a, a Mick Ultra if I'm feeling <laughs> uber American. If you're, if you're feeling like you need to watch the old waistline that weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go out and drink, so I'm gonna have fifth here. But those are those are TNT Dynamite's beers of choice. If I'm drinking beer, Jonas Labatt's 100. No, dude, I think it's not that anymore. I because I, I <laughs> changed after 30 years. Well, no, I, it hasn't been 30 years. It's been 20 ish. No, fifth. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen. Either way. And, and, but you know why? It's it, it's a victim of circumstance. Because I can't ever drink it down here. What that mean? Like it was my favorite beer, and I because I used to drink it. And I liked it a lot. Well, now I have I don't ever get to drink it in Texas because the, there's like only a handful of beers that or bars that carry it, and I don't drink beer very much anymore anyway. So like when I went home and was drinking Labatt, I was like, man, this doesn't taste as good as it used to because I hadn't been drinking it. I'd be drinking all sorts of other stuff, huh. it, which is sad to me. It breaks my effing heart. Like I'm not gonna say it's not my favorite. That's, that's but like I think I have the same feeling towards vagina, Jones. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long since I've had it. I'm just like, you know, this, this, this doesn't even feel as good as it used to. <laughs> right. <'Cause> that's <laughs> what happened. I even, I'm not going to say it's not my favorite. <laughs> but I'm just saying it's like, eh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm glad you can find an equivalent. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I understand what you're saying now. I do. Oh, goodness. All right. All right. So if you don't have a beer choice then? Uh, I mean... Like if they had Labatt around here, probably in te- I te- pretty much drink Shiner now because it's, yeah. it's it's kind of like a Texas beer that you can find everywhere. So yeah. it, it's not bad. It's not my. But I, know, I was just about to say I don't know if it's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> but I caught myself. <laughs> but all right, everybody. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, uh, watch another video like that one. Send it to the friends. Jonas, PNT Dynamite. Catch you on the next one. We're out.